I think um, generation is there is a good generation. I think that um, better will come. I think because um, uh, the batches that, that are there at the moment are have come through in a difficult era where there's a lot of suspicion and didn't get a lot of help maybe. Whereas I think that the new riders coming up can look to Dan, Nicholas, uh, Bennett and, uh, and Dignam um, and say those guys are making it and um, I want to do better and we, I can do better. Whereas I think that Nicholas and Dan and that the, the, the crop that we have today are doing it um, feeling well, we can do well but it's going to be difficult to dominate. Whereas I think the next generation will be even better, maybe. It should be better. And, um, but I, nevertheless, I think that we have a, a really good crop there. That The whole cycling has changed as well. Like during our, our era, you could be on form in February for the Tour Med, Paris Nice, and still do well in Dauphine in June, Tour de France in July, and still be around in the Lombardy in October. Whereas today's generation, they ride a lot less. They target on different events. They might have a rest in April, whereas that was unheard of in our generation. We stopped basically in November, December. That was our downtime. And every, every day after that was basically a working day. So the whole thing has changed. The generation has changed. The, 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 the preparation has changed. The, the, their objectives have changed. They're focusing now onto one event here, one event there, rather than uh, focusing on a, a whole period. So, um, which probably helps the standard go up because it, they're, they're respecting the, the recovery period more now, which helps them uh, do work on a solid foundation rather than working hard on a foundation which is fragilized by, by overtraining or fatigue. So, um, which is also one of the reasons for the, the good results and the high speeds in the, in the peloton today. I think depending on the day, but the names you, you, you just mentioned, like they're all very good riders and, and very exciting to watch. Like um, I think that uh, Nibali is very, very good uh, tactically and physically. He doesn't go down without a fight. Uh, I like very much Contador because of his ability to time trial, climb, and his tactical skills. Um, Firm I like very much because he's a, a super rider, time trialist, climber, a gentleman off the bike, which is what I think we've been lacking over the last couple of years as someone that will prepare to communicate. Like Contador, I like him a lot for his on and off the bike skills, but I think uh, Frum will dominate that uh, hands down because he, he's made the effort to, to, to speak French also, uh, English. He's also, I've seen him a different number of, number of times in operation where, for example, we have his um, press officer beside him and Christopher's talking to a journalist and the press officer saying, Christopher, we gotta go, Christopher, we gotta go, gotta go and Chris was standing there talking. Whereas many other cyclists in the past would be waiting for the press officer to say, let's go. And they'd turn without even saying goodbye, thank you, and, and go. Whereas I think Frum has, um, has shown a lot of uh, uh, patience, um, and he's very good at the public, very good at the press, very good at the media. And I think that's what, what cycling needs today, is uh, more people like that. Um, I think, um, like uh, Cantana is a young guy, he's coming up, fabulous in the mountains, lacking ability in time trialing, and we don't know the person himself because he doesn't talk a lot for the moment, but that'll come, he's still very, very young. But um, all those guys you mentioned, like, you know, from Nibali, Cantana, uh, they're all guys that are, um, they did different attitudes, but um, for me, the one guy that stands out today would be definitely be, uh, I had a fight between Nivali and Frum, but Frum would win because of his ability and he's shown his uh, contact with journalists and with the public. Um, I would love to be a Chris Frum because um, he's very articulated. <laughs> He's a uh, time trials, climbs, um, but only if I could have my own pedaling style. I think that uh, Christopher has everything and um, he's got a lot of charm. And um, so I would like to be Christopher from, but my pedaling style. <laughs>